Good morning. Welcome to the St. Genevieve Catholic Church. Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter. Our entrance hymn is number 688 in the hymnal. Sing a song, sing a joyful song, number 688. Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. Welcome on this Good Shepherd Sunday. Mindful of the Lord being our Good Shepherd, the one who leads us, the one who brings us to living waters. For times we fail to recognize God's presence around us, we ask God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the shepherd of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you lay down your life for your sheep. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd. Lord, have mercy. Hey, my God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, bring to life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to uh, share in the joys of heaven so the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Which of the 
St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Jesus Christ. Christ. Today's Gospel, the readings are about the Good Shepherd, Jesus being the Good Shepherd. Came across a story about a man named Ted who witnessed a Good Shepherd. Back in 39, Ted was in Poland. Poland was overrun by, by Germans, and Ted went on the ground. Young man of 20, started shortwave radio, talking with people in England, did a Pamphlets, let people know in the village what was happening. But he knew that um, Germans were closing on him, on his family. So he took his father's bike and tried to escape over, over Hungary and then over to France, hopefully. Never made it. In May 1940, he was sent to Auschwitz. And he was camped there with all these other Jews. And there's a rule in camp that if one person tried to escape, the 10 people were going to be shot. And so that one time that person tried to escape, and 10, of, 10 people were just taken up and shot. Another time it happened, and there were 100 people from the, the Ted's camp were asked to stand, stand in rows on hot sun. And now the 100, Ten were chosen. Just picked at random. random. One man got down on knees and begged for his life. I got my wife, my children. Who's going to take care of them? And from the back rose came a voice. I will. I will take this man's place. And Jeremy said, are you a priest? Sure enough. My name was known as Physician the Friar, Father Maximilian Kobe. Man is well known. He done many publications in, in, in Poland, much writing, much radio, they could in those days. He probably was the modern or the ancient EWTN on the radio. <coughs> but he can't step forward and said, I would die in this man's place. And simply ten people put him in the cell to let him starve to death. And the men left. They began talking among each other, talking about things like, we're hearing that there are, the 10 men are singing, singing songs, hymns, praying prayers, being led by Mexican and Kobe. The other person was able to get some food in, some bread in, and found the Mexican and Kobe to celebrate mass with these men. The rest of the men died except for Maximum Kobe. So finally they, um, they poisoned him. Ted was able to be set free by the American troops that came in later. Went to the United States, to Chicago, Illinois, engineer, worked many places. One of the things he did ever since he was in prison in Auschwitz, he kept a diary. Especially keeping things about Father Mexican and Kobe. He recognized that he was truly a shepherd. He may want to lay down his life for another. Yeah, thinking about, you now here's this Mexican and Kobe laying down his life for another person. Did I ever come close to that? Then I thought about back when I was a young associate back in St. Elizabeth, Hungary, in Crestwood. I was meeting with a couple for bear preparation to get a phone call. Father, we got a situation. Um, the man has enclosed himself in this house. We think he might be armed. He's asked for a priest. We come, come over. We're sending our squad car over now. So let the couple go. I um, 
got my black suit coat on, jumped in the squad car, went down to where the police officers were. And Crestwood Police has about 13 policemen, and all of them were there, fully vested, sack guns in hand, crouched around the place, probably three or four in front of the house. I'm probably about a half block away. Father, you go down and talk to this guy. Uh, I guess so. Now they didn't ask me, Father, do you have any credentials? Do you have any training in this? Typically go down and talk to this guy. Now I did know some police officers. I played on co-ed um, softball team. One of the police officers was one of my teammates. Went down there from the house. About three or four policemen in front of the house. We're talking guy inside, not sure what he's going to do. Not sure he's got a weapon or not. But we could tell he was drunk. As soon as I arrived, he said we changed a few words, and then you hear him pass out. So police broke in. Certainly, I did not know what I was getting myself into. But I can say I'm here today. Going down there, I would say, that's my black suit coat on, I'm the Holy Spirit. But the main question we ask ourselves is, we can think of other priests and other religious, maybe who have been good shepherds to us. We can think of lay people. Who has been a good shepherd to you? Who have you been a good shepherd to? Who you helped to bring to the Lord? The man on the side was Ken. Ken was not Catholic. Ken came and took instructions to become Catholic. Probably through this simple, but been dangerous situation, he came to receive Jesus. Maybe somebody we can ask, come to church next week. And I challenge everyone to think about it. Someone that you need to invite, come to church. Come experience the Lord's presence. Come know the Lord Jesus, the Good Shepherd. He's there for each one of us. Let's continue to celebrate the Good Shepherd. You know, yes, sir. Priests, we might know who are good shepherds, but who have we been good shepherd to? Who has been good shepherd to us? Journey together in the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, to God from true God, begotten by name, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us to for our salvation, being down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our Savior is his life and our child, and his suffered death of his Mary, and rose again on the third day, and in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Spirit, the Lord of the Lord, who proceeds into the Father of the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken from the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. As a good shepherd tends his father's flocks, we ask God to help our brothers and sisters. Father, we pray for the church that we recognize the love of God has shown us, live as children of God each day, and await the revelation of who we are becoming by God's grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord.
for bishops, priests, and all who minister in the church, that they may model in word and deed the love and compassion of the Good Shepherd as they lay down their lives in service of God's people, we pray to the Lord. For peace and healing in the human family, that the Good Shepherd will lead us away from violence and warfare into ways that will help us defeat poverty, disease, and ignorance, we pray to the Lord. <coughs> for a greater respect for creation, that we may be good stewards of God's earth and care for it, so that future generations may enjoy it, we pray to the Lord. <coughs> for our youth and all who are seeking God's call for them in life, that they would be open to an invitation for the good from the Good Shepherd to serve the church as a priest, deacon, brother, sister, or lay minister, we pray to the Lord. For those who have gone astray like sheep, that they will hear the voice of the Good Shepherd, the guardian of their souls, we pray to the Lord. For Father Jack Dempsey, a priest who was here as administrator of Valley Catholic Schools, who passed away this past week, we pray to the Lord. Amen. For the special intentions mentioned in our parish bulletin and on our parish prayer chain, and for any additional intentions we have in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord. God of mercy, you sent your son to care for your flock. Hear and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus, our risen Lord, who lives forever and ever. Amen.
Brothers and sisters, let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be set to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find a light in these past mysteries, so that renew constantly and work within us a cause of our ending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our deep in our salvation at all times we claim you, O Lord, in time of all the loud you have been gloriously, and Christ's pastor has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, come with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exalt in your praise, even the heavenly powers of angelic hosts, sing together under him your, of your glory as they claim without end. <laughs> So that rising the sun to the setting and pure sacrifice we offer to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the saints here, grace make holy these gifts brought to you for consecration, then may become the body and blood of our Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At this command, we celebrate these mysteries. For the night of us, we prayed, we shall took bread, give me thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, your disciples, saying, Take this. All of you need to be for this is my body which is given up for you. In a similar way, where supper's ended, he took the chalice. He gave me thanks, said the blessing. He gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, take this. All of you drink it for chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and to cut his poured out for you for many forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Celebrate more of his saving passion of your son, this one is resurrection sent into heaven. We look forward to his second coming. We offer you thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look your prayer upon our Lady Saint Louis Church and recognize the sacrifice of the victim of whose death you would have reconciled us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and through this Holy Spirit may come one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an offering, an offering to you so we may attain inheritance with your elect. As just as well as blessed words of Mary, Mother of God, blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, Saint Genevieve with all your saints, and a constant success in your presence, your life, and unfailing help. May the sacrifice of a reconciliation of prayer, Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to affirm in faith and charity your program church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope and Robert Bishop, order our bishops and all the elect and all the clergy, and type people you gain for your own. Listen to gracious people, prayers of this family, we have somebody for you, compassionate, merciful Father, gather yourself, all your children, scattered throughout the world. Try to pride brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you, the passage in this life, get kind of and cheer from them. They were helping to draw by the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom is told upon all the world all that is good. Through him and with him and him, O God Almighty Father, in you the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, upon the divine teaching, we dare to sing together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Our prayer from every evil, we should grant peace in our days, with help and mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as with us a hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace leave my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. We should grant her peace and unity in course with your will, bliss and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is the of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is number 632 in the hymnal, The King of Love, number 632.
Let's stand, let's pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd. Be pleased to sell out internal pastures, the sheep we have redeemed, the precious blood of your son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please pray for the repose of the souls of Amos Wolk, Paul M. Roth, and Rita Burley, whose funeral services were this past week. Lectors, commentators, Eucharistic ministers, and servers, the schedule is ready and can be picked up in the back of church. There is one copy per family. Our recessional hymn is number 543 in the hymnal. Take the word of God, number 543. The Lord with you. And with your spirit. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia.